welcome to Abby's Book Reviews. This is Through the Winterwoods Book Tag. This is originally from, I think they're called There's Something About KM. Um, I could be wrong, but I will tag the link in the description. Morning departure. It's best to take advantage of those early daylight hours during the short days of winter. Name a short book that brought you joy. I just picked up one of the series, but the Amelia Fang books, they're really short, they're really cute, and they just, ah, oh, they're just so good. Evergreen Trees, name a book you could or do read over and over again. I've only read this twice so far. I want to say twice, I may have read it three times, um, but I could happily read this book slash series over and over and over again and I feel like I'll find something new each time. Bundled up. Name a book that makes you feel warm and cosy. <sighs> this book slash series, I've only read the first two because the first two are out so far, but they are just so cute and just mmm. Yeah. Icy River. Name a book that features a bit of danger. I would say the whole trilogy um, of this definitely features danger. Can't remember exactly how much is in the first one, um, but yes, dark shade of magic. Hot beverage in a thermos. Name your favourite hot beverage to drink in the winter, especially when you're reading. So I would go for hot chocolate. Um, I drink tea all year round. I don't do coffee of any description. So yeah, then it's hot chocolate or like hot apple juice slash apple cider or like mulled wine. We don't really have those well reading I don't tend to have them that much but I just feel like a winter night you want to like not that we have a fire but like cut up next to the fire with a book a blanket and a hot chocolate like that's the best thing to do falling snow name a book with snow or winter or both in the title so I couldn't find any with both snow and winter in the title um I found a few snow ones but I wanted to show this one off just because it's super pretty. So it is Winter War Awakening by Rosalind Eves. It's the third in the Blood Rose Rebellion trilogy and it was so good. Horse Drawn Sleigh. Name a book that took you on an enjoyable journey. Daughter of the Pirate King by Tr Trisha Levenzella. Like this duology is just, uh, I love the banter, I love the characters um, and I love the journey that they go on as well. Frosty Breeze. Name a book that sent shivers up your spine. I would go with like the Tree Devious trilogy. I listened to it earlier this year, hence why I'm not holding it. I do not own it yet. I really, really want to. I don't own it and I... Uh, it was so good, but like kind of creepy at the same time. A camera to capture the scenery. Name a scene, character or line from a book or poem that you return to again and again. So I always go with the first line from this, which is, if I remember correctly, Kel wore a very peculiar coat. I'm not going to check. Kel wore a very peculiar coat. It had neither one side, which would be conventional, nor two, which would be unexpected, but several, which was, of course, impossible. And I just feel like... It's such a good first line, Kel wore a peculiar coat, because it's just like, what's different about it? And then you find out and you're just like, what? Like, that's so weird and random, but I want to know more. And I just feel like it draws you in. And it's like one of my favourite first lines. It's the one that I always think of when I think of first lines. And yeah, there's so many good quotes um, and lines and stuff from loads of different books. But it's always one that I go back to. That is it. Um, I'm not going to tag anyone, but you are tagged if you want to be, um, if you want to do this yourself, or if you just want to comment down below with what you would pick. Please like and subscribe, it would make my day. Enjoy the book you're reading, and I will speak to you soon.